guys, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you through your training programs. So this is a video that you can follow along and I'll just be going through it. If it gets a little bit faster or anything at any time, feel free to pause it, do your exercises, and then you can play it again and come back to it. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to have warmed up. So you need to go for a run, run around with your siblings or something like that, go jump on the trampoline, go for a ride on your bike, just make sure your muscles are nice and warm. And then we're gonna move into stretching. So the first stretch that we're gonna do is our waves. So you're gonna bring your hands together like this, and then we're gonna make waves with our hands. So you wanna do maybe about 10 of these. Um, if you wanted to, you could do 10 of this size, and then you can do some bigger ones, and then even some littler ones as well. The next exercise is our arm circles. So we wanna start with our arms up, circling forwards, we're going to do 10 this way, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then back the other way, do another 10. Good, try and make the circles nice and big. Good, our next exercise is our hip circles, so you're going to put your hands on your hips, and then you're going to do 10 circles each way. So when you do this one, make sure you're trying to keep your legs straight and just moving your hips around. And once you've done 10 this way, go 10 back the other way. Good, still make sure you're keeping those legs straight, not letting them bend. Good, the next one we're gonna do is our knee bob. So you're gonna bring your feet together, hands on your knees, and we're gonna bend. And we're gonna do 10 of these ones as well. And 10. Once you've done that, sitting down, and we're going to do our ankle circles. So you're going to bend both your legs up, one over the top, and let's try 10 each way. If you want to, rather than doing 10 each way, you can draw a picture of something. So you can draw a picture of what you had for lunch. You can draw a picture of something in the gym. You can draw a picture of something that you did today. Good, and then once you're finished with that one, try the other ankle and try and draw a different picture with this one. Make sure when you draw your picture, you remember to color it in. Good work, all right. Now we're gonna move into our straddle stretches. So we're gonna bring our legs out. We're gonna try and get our legs straight, pointing our toes to the ground, reaching up, and then we're gonna reach down for our left foot. When you're doing these stretches, you wanna be holding them for about 10 seconds. Good, and then stretching up again and reaching for the other foot. And stretching up and reaching down the middle. And then we're going to do that one more time. So stretching up, reaching for your left foot. See if you can get your chest on your leg. Good, and reaching up and reaching for the other foot. And then reaching up and reaching down the middle one more time. Good work, okay. Once we've finished our straddle stretches, we wanna come up and we wanna go into our happy cat shape. So knees on the ground, hands apart, and we're going to drop our belly to the ground. Big smile for your happy cat. And then we're going to go into our angry cat. So pushing your chest right up to the roof. With these ones, we want to hold them for about five seconds. And then back to our happy cat. And then up to our angry cat again. Good, from here we're going to go back into our seal stretch. So sliding your legs back and pulling your hips down to the floor. Holding for about another five seconds. And then pushing back into our lazy cat. And then back to our seal stretch again. Another five seconds. And then back to our lazy cat. And the last one we're gonna do is our disco cat. So moving your hips and your body all around. 
good way. So this video is for our preschool conditioning program. So the first exercise that's on your program is your angry cat stepping back into front support. So we have written down to do this five times. So we're going to go through these exercises five times. So starting down in your angry cat, we want our shoulders over our hands. So parents, if you can help out with that. Pushing our chests up to the roof, making a nice round shape. And then we're going to step back into our front support. And then back to our knees. One. Good work. Okay, our second exercise is our lung jumps. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that you've got plenty of space to do these ones because you want plenty of room to jump as long as you can. So I'm just going to move some stuff out the way so I've got some room. And now we're going to do our 15 long jumps. Make sure you remember to land in your motorbike shapes. Good work guys. Okay, our next exercise, you will need either a bean bag, a ball, a pillow, just make sure you're not throwing balls in the house when you're not allowed to. And you need something to mark out a circle. So if you've got a hoop at home, that will be perfect. I'm just using a TheraBand, you can use a piece of rope. And all you need to do is you need to make a circle or a square or some kind of shape on the ground and we're going to throw it into that. So standing back and throw and see if you can get it inside the circle. Good work. Remember we've got five turns of this one. See if you can get it in each time. If you want to have some more turns, you're more than welcome to. You can have up to 20 or 30 turns if you want. But for now, we're just going to move on to the next one. So our next exercise on the program is our bear walking. So you can either do this in a small space in front of the camera, or you can go do it outside where you've got plenty of room, or you can do it around the house. Just be really careful that you don't crash into anything. And we're just going to do 30 steps of bear walking. So down into your bear position, try and keep your legs straight as you're walking and I'm just going to walk around in a circle. And try some backwards ones. Good work. If you haven't quite finished your 30, you're more than welcome to keep going. Otherwise, let's move on to the next activity. So the next activity is our half turn on two feet. So what we want to do is we want to have one foot just in front of the other like this. We want to put our arms up on our ears and we're going to do our half turn on two feet. So up on tippy toes and turn. And up on our tippy toes, turn. And up on our tippy toes and turn. And we are going to do 10 of these. So see if you can do 10 now. Good. 
Good work. All right, our next activity is our tightrope walk. So I want you to get something like a piece of rope. You can draw a line on the ground if you're outside. You can use maybe a tile from your kitchen if there's a big long line on the tiles. Make sure if you're on the tiles though, you're being really careful not to slip over. So I'm gonna put my line on the ground and then I'm gonna try and walk on it four times without falling off. Arms out to balance. If you wanna be really tricky, you can try and walk backwards as well. Woo! Great work everybody. If you've got a bit longer line and you're not quite done yet, feel free to pause the video and keep going and keep doing your walking. Okay, the last exercise that we've got is balancing on one foot. So we're going to start with our right foot. We're going to put our arms out for balance and we're going to stand on our right foot and see if we can balance. How long can you balance for? Whoop. Good work. Keep trying to see if you can balance. Good work. Okay, we're gonna try the other foot this time. So balancing on your left foot, arms out, and balancing. Good work, well done. All right, if you wanted to try that again and see if you can get it for even longer, and then you can get your parents to post on Facebook and let us know how long you can stand on one foot for. Good work, everyone, and we'll see you next week.